today's Fugitive Australian journalist Shane Dowling from the website kangarooquarteraustralia.com. Now, a high-profile Australian man has been charged with two counts of rape in Toowoomba. And I was back in court today again, and uh, it's been adjourned for another four weeks. But some people on social media have started naming him. They have been naming him for a few months since he was originally charged. And that achieves nothing except for potentially uh, getting yourself charged with contempt of court. Now, the man isn't getting special treatment. It's just the law in Queensland as it currently stands. But they're in the process of changing that law. It's currently before the Queensland government. And I'll read you out some of the, what it says on the Queensland government website. Now, the actual law is currently before the Legal Affairs and Safety Committee, and they're reviewing that law. The legislation has been tendered to Parliament. And the specific law they're trying to amend is uh, remove restrictions in, in the Criminal Law Sexual Offences Act 1978, which prohibit identification of an adult defendant charged with a prescribed sexual offence prior to finalisation of committal proceedings. Now, it says uh, Queensland is only one of two jurisdictions in the country to offer the, this protection. Even alleged murderers and others accused of serious crimes can be identified before committal. And the committee is uh, due to table its report by Friday the 28th of July. And once that uh, report is tabled to the government, they have three months to respond if they do respond. So somewhere around September, October, November this year, that law could be lifted. And I understand it's going to be retrospective. So that means that person is currently before the court. Uh, his name can be named once those laws are changed. But it's not like that person was going to get away with alleged crimes anyhow. So for the people naming him on social media, all you're doing is potentially giving him an out or an opportunity to delay proceedings further. He might file a, some sort of claim saying he was denied justice, but that ultimately wouldn't work anyhow because once a committal hearing's over and it's set down for trial, he can be named then. So if you do see the person's name on social media, don't share it. Uh, maybe even contact that person and tell them, look, you should uh, delete that because you might get charged with contempt of court. Please share this video on Facebook and Twitter, etc., to let other people know. Thank you for your time and have a good day.